Welcome YouTube. The video you're about to see is a reaction video. It is a video of opinion. Nothing personal is meant toward the individuals in the videos. My volition uh, for posting these reaction videos is to look at these videos and critique them through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Usually they are quantum grammar related videos and I'm looking for correct sentence structure knowledge here. And I'm also looking at the claims made in the videos through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Now you may notice that I'm doing certain things with my hands. I am not making any secret hand signs or gestures. When one is doing public speaking, there's only so many things you can do with your hands. You can fold them, maybe put them on your hips, dangling lifelessly at your sides, put them in your pockets, hold them like this, whatever it is. I'm not making any type of signaling gestures, unless I do this, which means shaka. Keep in mind the information, the things that I'm sharing in this video are for educational purposes only, entertainment purposes only, nothing personal towards the individuals in the videos themselves. Thanks and enjoy. Uh, this was sent to me uh, by someone who attended this, the meeting or whatever this is that the, the audio is going to uh, convey. It was recorded on July 1st of, of 2023. And I guess it is Rachel Dara Prince talking about a variety of topics. I have not listened to this, so that you're going to get my you know, kuleana to it on the spot. It should be very interesting, as I've never heard one of these before. It's called, a, a, what is it called? Basic, or Postmaster Basic, I guess. So, let's get into it. Greetings and salutations. Back once again. Like the meme master that we are. Like the what? <laughs> All right. We are on the Postmasters Basic channel of Telegram. However, we're doing a Saturday Night Live. My name is Colin Rachel hyphen Dara Colin Prince. And we got a lot to talk about tonight on this full moon. We usually host regular or consistent, if you will, to work with our quantum grammar contract words. Consistent. Some people say, oh, con. I don't like to use the word con because it's conning people. No, con is a positive word. Con in Spanish means with. So we are, uh, that's why we like to con, contract, conversate. We like to do these things. Contract has a particle of negation in it. Contra. Contra as a negative condition of state. This is why I performed a salvage on that word and I hyphenate it. C O N hyphen T R A C T. It's open source. With the positive performance here in the now space. As I was saying before, with the Postmasters Basic, we talk about the claim of the life, uh, gratitude for the Postmaster hyphen General Colin Russell hyphen J Colin Gould, who has thankfully been giving us more and more of the technology and the secrets to which he is transforming the world one claimant at a time. The secrets. That tells you something right there. When Colin David Eiffel, when Colin Miller passed away in during the summer solstice of 2018, that began the machinations of Colin Russell Hyphen J. Colin Gould taking whatever they had together because they were partners. David was the master and the teacher. Russell was the student, the apprentice, the underling. Well, when David passed away, Russell took all of that and within 365 or so days had tried to classify it, make it secret, take it out of the public eye, scrub videos, so on and so forth, so that people had to come to him 
and pay to, you know, get whatever he and David had shared to the public since 1988. Well, David shared to the public since 1988. Yeah, David on his website gave his cell phone number, his home phone number, his home addresses, his email, and made himself available to people who wanted to learn this stuff. And then when David passed, Russell tried to wipe all of that away and turn it into whatever he turned it into, which is what it is now, which is basically people paying money uh, to get not, I mean, I don't want to go into the whole thing. I've done plenty of videos about this. Uh, but one thing they're not getting with that money is closure. I can guarantee you that. No closure on the grammar. As you just heard her say earlier, she said, normally we don't share, we don't talk about grammar in the basic groups, in the public groups, because it's secret. Which is funny because it's a that's a pretty convenient way, number one, to make money. And number two, if you don't know what the heck you're talking about, it's good to say, oh, it's secret. And if someone asks you, well, why why is it this way? And they say, well, because Russell said so. And that's the, the patented answer every single time. This is a very <clears throat> slow process, very grassroots. I very slow process, indeed. Friends and neighbors, you don't know how many people have contacted me saying that they've paid money to take courses from these people. And when they get so far and they ask a question that these people don't have an answer to, these people will tell them, well, you have to pay to get the next course. And when you move on to the next course, we will answer that question. And then they pay to go on to the next course. They get to the next course. They ask a question, and then the same answer comes. Well, you have to pay for the next level, and you got to keep going up the levels until you get to some weirdo step seven or something, which means you keep paying money to get no answers. And then when you get to the top, they just stop answering your emails. So, I mean, that's pretty much the way it goes. I've heard this from literally so many people over the last few years, especially the last year or two, that this particular Syntax Learning Center or whatever is going on has been in place. Uh, the Rachel Dara Prince being the intermediary, the handler, whatever whatever you want to call her. Uh, it's just a, a big bogus scam, basically. I think in people's heart, they want to take on the sovereign journey, but they don't know what exactly that means. So on um, this podcast and on this channel uh, if you guys want to migrate your way back to telegram if you're listening to this later to the audio save later you can uh, come to telegram and find postmasters basic and you will find us live otherwise the recordings are in the postmasters portal archive so yes again the claim of the life we are talking about the claim of the life system that chief gave us the technology to he sacrificed so much to get to a place where he could uh, then kind of let the, the the technology free for the people. I said sh I should say avail make it available to the people. Set the technology free. She had to correct herself there. See, this technology has been free since 1988. It was free up until the point David died, and Russell basically uh, hijacked it to the to the citizens of the world um he you know if if you think about and you see war castles and you see last flag standing the documentary that i did uh piercing dynasty the documentary i did you will kind of notice that he's kind of a lone wolf and he's got a very solitary journey and we can only imagine what he actually went through on his own to get to that place to where he felt like um, he was making any progress at all. I mean, he, he had to go up against everybody alone and he didn't really have a lot of aid. Um, you know, he had kind of a, a crooked partner, uh, kind of a, uh, a, you know, Cole, uh, I don't even know if I you know, use his name in, in, um, in quantum, but you know, Colin David hyphen win, or I should just say David Win Miller because, um, that man, uh, turned out to be not such a good guy, you know, but he 
the way that they've modified this narrative, which began with the, the, the paper that was circulated back in 2016, 2017, Operation Sheepdog or some nonsense like that, where the narrative of how correct sentence structure came to be was modified and changed to make Russell the main focal point and David when Miller is sort of like a side character you know someone who's when David is the one that brought this stuff to the public in 1988 he's the one that came up with the idea for it he's the one that tested it and was and he brought Russell in as a student when Russell was just a kid and if you look this up on the internet I, I think you can still find this stuff uh, Russell's parents um, quote unquote tried to rescue him say and committed him to you know a, say insane asylums and stuff saying that he was cuckoo okay now I'm not saying whether he is or whether he isn't but I am saying if you look at a lot of the video performances that happened after David passed away especially after David passed away, you will see two different sides of this guy. At one point, he's using foul language and kicking things and threatening people and basically making WWE promos, cutting promos. And then on the other hand, he's using this very sugary type of speaking style talking about kindness and love and empathy and blah 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 I heard David Wood Miller use this word to describe Russell in a video he said he's bipolar <laughs> that Russell would get mad and um, you know about something and smash his phone and disappear for a few days and then you know I don't know and this is coming from a guy that knew Russell for years and years and years you know decades David was much older than Russell, had much more experience. And they used to talk terrible about each other while they were still alive even. So, or while he was David was still alive. So, and this this stuff is, I mean, you can find it on YouTube. The stuff I just talked about, you you can find it. It's there uh, if you look hard for it. He was the only one saying that he was going to help Chief at the time, and so I think that went a long way, you know. Um Chief's had to make a lot of hard choices. I'm not going to make any excuses for why he kept a bad guy around. Maybe it was just, you know, you keep your enemies close. Maybe he just, you know, Dave's full of, was full of good information, data, and he was a good speaker. So, you know, who knows why we, who, what, why I came into all of this and what our role is for the, for the bigger development and bigger growth in the, in the world. But that being said, um, you know, we're still figuring all this out. We still have a long ways to go. So let's be patient with this process. Let's be patient with each of our... Let's be patient with us. Keep sending us money and we'll learn together. The roles <laughs> and um, seeing, you know, our place. It's, it's not figured out quite yet. And we'll talk about the spiration, I say, in, instead of inspiration, because I am is, is, that, is a negative contracting word, we say spiration. And that type of attitude, what she's just talking about there, is like grade school level correct sentence structure, where you use, um, you try to bring some sort of correct sentence structure thing into plain English, where you take off the certain negative performance prefixes but if you're going to use plain english what's the point because now you're just going to confuse people even more by saying spiration or intelligence goofiness like that i mean that just makes absolutely no sense either use correct sentence structure or don't but we all know at least my viewers know watching this video that these people don't have closure on correct sentence structure so they can't use correct sentence structure so that's how they they talk and so in order to um to kind of uh 
tell you how my world operates, uh, you know, and, and the things that I think of when I write these memes and I post them in the telegram channels and, you know, it's kind of the thing right now. And, um, and so in cooperation with what is, uh, you know, trendy and cool in the world, you know, this is something people have a short tension span. <laughs> so we like to, uh, kind of go with the same vibe and see if we can, um, get people interested with using this, this, this concept, this platform. And it's just one of my marketing strategies for promoting the venue. And I, I definitely um, think all of you guys out there can come up with your own memes and we'd love to see them too. And hopefully once a month or as we have these basics on here, you can post new ones. You guys do inspire me. I just thought of this. When I was doing my my show last year for the now space news I would syntax news headlines I would take you know the headlines for the week and syntax them and give closure to the values I was banking and so on and so forth and kind of make a joke or two and then I also had a segment called memes of the week so the syntax learning center very shortly thereafter began doing a syntax news show well a syntax headline show where they would try and syntax news headlines and now she's talking about memes sharing memes of the of the week or of the month or whatever so these people and, and this goes back to the quantum community when they used to be called the quantum community i was calling this whatever this is people interested in quantum grammar I called it the quantum grammar community, the quantum community, and then they all of a sudden revenued the Red Thumb Club as the quantum community. So they've been making great use of my original nativity ideas for a long time now, and it seems like they're continuing on that tradition. You're welcome. Uh, thank you guys, first of all, for coming, coming back and listening in. I have been gone for a while. I just haven't been feeling the vibe to do. I, I have been thinking of you guys and I have been wanting to connect, but um, there's been, um, you know, timelines and huge, uh, just timelines crossing right now. And What? Colin Russell, Heaven J. Colin Gould has been quoted as saying that time doesn't exist. But yet, there are timelines crossing? <laughs> Portals, I feel like I've been pushed through and birthed new and um, kind of uh, just overwhelmed with energy. And um, yeah, I, I think that conversation will deepen as time goes by. But for now, my words are um, with the conversation of what's going on within the memes. So let's stick to that. Okay, the first one I wanted to share is the brain. Okay, the brain. And we, well, there's a couple things going on here. There's one thing to comprehend when we're doing the memes. And the first one is on the quantum grammar. And when we write qu casual quantum, as we call it, that means, well, first of all, let's talk about what is quantum grammar, and it's a, um, a fact-based language. It's a way to communicate on paper with, and you can, of course, one could communicate verbally this way as well. It's just a little bit harder. Uh, Chief's done it in, in, you know, at a workshop. He's spoken in quantum grammar. But essentially, correct communication, parse syntax, grammar, performance is a language, She really has no idea what she's talking about, does she? First, she talks about informal quantum grammar, which means it's not quantum grammar. It's quantum gobbledygook, no mathematical interface. And she's trying to explain what quantum grammar is. It's a fact-based language. No, it's not. Okay? It's not based on anything. Quantum grammar is a grammar of closure. It's not a language. It's a grammar. It can be used with languages such as English, 
Spanish, Portuguese, you know, whatever you want. It can be used with languages, but it is a grammar, not a language. And so that tells me right there that this individual has no clue what they're talking about. And some people say, well, how can you, how can Chief copyright the language? Well, because of what he's done and how he's done it, it is at this time a, a language that is copyright, just like um, kind of like a, a, a programming code that, that uh, for a computer game or something that, um, you know, a, a, a large corporation would have or a company would have or someone would develop themselves and they are um, allowing other people to license it or use it. And That's not correct either. <clears throat> because in order to copyright something like that, in the sense of one and one is one, that correct sentence structure is based on, you have to be a creator of it. Number one, he didn't create it. Number two, he doesn't have closure on it. You can take any of his documents, the most notable one being the live life claim that he sells, or to be more correct, his people sell, his authorized people sell. The grammar is not correct. So if you're going to claim authority over a grammar, wouldn't you have to know how to use it? Wouldn't you have to know what you're doing if authority comes from knowledge? As Russell has said in the past, authority comes from knowledge. So if you don't have knowledge of what it is you're doing, you don't have authority over it. So the only, and I'll say this again, I've said it ad nauseum, the only authority or copyright that Russell has over the grammar is what you believe him to have. Because... In the context of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, one and one is one, rule one, rule equal, honor, grace, peace, neutrality, he has no authority because there are mistakes all over his stuff. It's not correct. There is no closure. When you go to people like this and try to learn from them, they, they don't know what they're talking about. Their, their last go-to answer is, well, because the chief said so. And then when you try to talk to the chief, he's nowhere to be found. On the, on the flip side, when you look at the way David Wynn Miller navigated before his death, again, he had his home phone number, his cell phone number, his email address, his home addresses, all on his website. He made himself available to everyone for closure. You know, this bad guy that they're talking about that they're trying to demonize. And they, they've done a very successful job of it. Uh, judging on all the followers that they have in their in their little cult, uh, you know they've modified, changed, and perjured the narrative. And that's what the claimants have. The postmasters, when they get their claim of life, kind of crossing that that path into the sovereign life and getting that contract to show that for the forensics of their nativity into this new paradigm. Uh, out of the birth certificate system which is over so we need something else to kind of grasp onto and this is what's available to us and so the claim of the life is written in quantum grammar and so the claimants no, who have that the privilege of getting a, a claim of the life contract with chief uh, they get to create that joinder and therefore are then licensed if you will to utilize the contract uh, to utilize what is a license a license is a permit that you pay for to do something that would otherwise be illegal. What is legality or illegality? It's fiction system stuff. Friends and neighbors, I've been saying this for years. What they do is fiction. It's all fiction. It's based on it. And this is more evidence of that. Quantum grammar. Okay, so they can begin to learn it and utilize it. And when we're doing memes and emails and so on and so forth, it is easy for us to just use a casual version of that, which is casual quantum. It is not quantum. It's either quantum or it's not. It's either correct side structure or it's not. If, it, if the facts do not maintain their value, forwards and backwards, it's not correct sentence structure. So we're not using full sentences. Um, full sentences in quantum grammar utilize 
um, you know, a, a more serious structure. You might have heard chiefs say certain uh, phrases in his um, on his videos as well as the contracts that he has released on last flag standing if you want you can go to lastflagstanding.com and check out the um, contracts that he has there and start to kind of investigate the, the quantum grammar yes and you will find mistakes all over every single one of them talk about a uh a moment when you know that something's going to be right when you have uh, fluidity, right? When something it doesn't meet resistance. But when we have resistance, it will, it will become apparent. So th this proves my point. Why someone would try to mix quantum with plain English. She's using particles of negation in what she's saying. Like realize, apparent. The, she's using particles of negation all over the place. I mean, it's, it's redundant and it's ridiculous. If you're going to speak plain English, speak plain English. If it's your volition to be cognized by someone else, then... And they are with the volition of cognizing you, and you have equal rule one, rule equal kuleana, then there's no problem. You don't need to use correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, script. It's not necessary. Do you get what I'm talking about? The only time correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar would be used is when someone is trying to hoodwink you, to trespass upon you, to cause harm to you in a bureaucratic fashion. Okay? It's not to be used every... I mean, you could if you want to. If you want to start a society that uses correct sentence structure all the time and never uses any particles of negation in their speech... What's the point, though? I mean, you could have a society that just uses hand gestures. You wouldn't even need to speak verbally if you're going to go that far. Or learn how to communicate telepathically. So, you get my gist. People that talk like that, it's my experience from you know a few years of doing this. People that talk like this, they get a little, a little knowledge under their belt. And then they start, of course, when you get knowledge of something new or whatever, you're excited, you want to share it. So you start sharing it, just like I did when I was a beginner. And I would actually use correct sentence structure verbally, like in a supermarket or something, and tell people, well, why are you using this word? Because, you know, a vowel in front of a consonant at the beginning of a word means no. I soon realized what a fool I was, how foolish that was. That why would I want to make other people's lives more difficult when it's their volition to just get through their day, do their job, go home to their families, have fun, do whatever. Why, why are you making things extra? As the young folks say these, day, these days, these people are extra out. They have extra stuff that they're adding on to the daily lives of people that want nothing to do with this. If you get my gist, I hope you do. Right? Just like it did right there, which is beautiful. What a beautiful metaphor for our, um, for our journey here. <laughs> you know, when we, when we want to, um, to see if something's going right or wrong in our universe, <laughs> multiverse, it's gonna it's gonna give us some feedback and so that was a perfect sample of of discernment okay making 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 choosing wisely and and if we don't then we'll get some some tension or some 
pushback from the universe, from the multiverse, from the multiplex. Joy says, for the fixing of the small errors or small wrongs for, is with the great benefit for the others or by the others. So there's actually positional sequencing wise, that sentence that she just read is correct sequentially for a verb with by. Now there are particles of negation in the facts. Um, there sounds like there were some non-tangible contract words in the facts. Well, you see, that's exactly the way they teach it, though. They don't care about, well, I don't know if they don't care. I just think maybe they don't know any better. But that sentence, position-wise, is correct. It's just a few small issues with particles of negation in the facts. So I don't know what uh, Rachel's really talking about here, because if you look at Russell's grammar, or especially with their quantum gobbledygook, it's the same stuff. Oh, I'll, I'm going to work on your, uh, your, your quantum a little bit, Joy, but thank you for, well, that's okay. She put it in, in italics, but that's okay. You're trying and you're working on, on learning quantum grammar. So good. And Joy. Sounds like Rachel's trying to elevate herself into some sort of position. Because if that person, Joy, is, is a beginner, I would say as a tutor, that's a great sentence. As a beginner, just a few small fixes with particles of negation in the facts. But they would have to be taught that. And they're probably not being taught that over there. Um, I, appreciate, I appreciate that. So, uh, Joseph... Joshu or Josh, I don't know how to pronounce your name correctly there, but says for the casual hieroglyphics of the quantum grammar. So yeah, we're in in these memes. We're using kind of a hieroglyphics or a, a casual hieroglyphic style. We see the fiction as something. What we talk about fiction is we're talking about anything that doesn't has a, have a claim of the life or that anything that can't state a claim. Anything that doesn't have authorization to be stating claims, stating facts. The fiction can't state facts. They don't have the authorization to do so. They don't have a claim of the life. They don't have um, a contract with chief. There it is in a nutshell. And I'm going to stop here and maybe I'll do the rest of it later. But I've had my fill of bullshit for today, I think. She just said that in that particular construct, Russell J. Gould's construct, which we're not listening to him, we're listening to Rachel Dar Prince, <laughs> who I guess has authorization to speak for him. What they give closure to fiction as, what they say the fiction is, is anyone who does not have authorization from Russell J. Gould to write a contract. Are you hearing this, friends and neighbors? If you don't have authorization from Colin Russell Hyphen J. Cola Gould to write in correct sentence structure, then you are fiction. No matter how correct or mathematically certified your grammar is, you're fiction as far as they are concerned. Why? Because Chief says so. I could go into a long monologue about this, but I've done that enough in the past. A fictitious conveyance of grammar is grammar that contains modification. There is supposed to be no modification in correct sentence structure. When you look at, as she said earlier, the contracts or the documents on the Last Flag Standing website, you will find modification all over those documents, not to mention the claim of the live life that they sell. Okay? That 
in the context of the pure correct sentence structure communication policy syntax grammar technology is fiction what is classified as fiction what is not classified what is credentialed as fiction is grammar that is not mathematically certified that's what fiction is fiction isn't what Russell says it is or isn't unless of course you, you buy into that you, if you're one of his cult followers then of course you're gonna believe what he says and, and well if Russell says it's fiction then I guess it's fiction if you don't pay to kiss his butt then you're fiction and if that's how you want to live your life that's your choice cool best of luck however if you would actually like to learn correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar the grammar technology brought to the public in 1988 by the late colon David Ife Winkle of Miller if you would like to learn it in its purest form no secrets nothing classified nothing held back feel free to study this YouTube channel that you're on right now with over 600 free videos it's just up to you to invest your energy and now space in studying it if you want to fast track your learning I do have workshops that I provide but the first step would be to apply for them and email me at the email address at the bottom of your screen and please include your co full correct name uh, I ask that consideration of you you know who I am you know my full correct name I just ask the same of you um, and there'll be more information about that at the end of the video again like I said I might do the rest of this video later uh, do a second part or a third part but I've had my fill of quantum gobbledygook for one day that's enough man I'm gonna dip thanks for watching peace if you'd like to learn correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me you can ask me whatever you like and I'll do the same and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to if you'd like to support the channel click on the join button underneath this video there are two tiers of membership uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public once again thank you for watching uh, hit the subscribe button hit the like button turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis there are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here you to study on this channel my gift to you my fellow mankind thank you again and I'll see you in the next one